All right, welcome back to Dreaming Does Gaming, playing some more The Witness. Now, last time we uh, got the first laser, so that was fun. We ended off out this way, coming towards the desert. So we're gonna go take a look over here, see what there is. Um, and I'm wondering, how many people have actually noticed like things that we can do that we've decided that we aren't doing yet? Is there a meat? You can just walk right over them. Cool. Um, we'll need to know what these are eventually. Hello, Mr. Structure. Looks like a elevator. Is that a box? That might be a box on top there. Could be. Or it could just be the elevator. Nice, uh, nice features here. It's pretty cool. Little ancient ruins. Run around all these places eventually. Have you seen that symbology before? Um, I've just seen it in quite a few different places, so. Ah, uh, yes. This one. <laughs> uh, this one will be fun. I don't know if we'll actually get to all of this if this is the one that we do next. Kind of just exploring a little bit here first before I go over there. Alright, hey, we see another flower. Interesting. Is there, is there something over here that it symbolizes? Something there. Anything down there? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. But we saw that same flower. So again, why? Why is that flower there? What does it mean? I've forgotten the reason for them. So, so there's that, uh, neat little alcove out here, outcropping in the, in the water. Interesting. Oh, uh, oh right, we can't just walk off a cliff or anything, so. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so at the back of that is a entrance down below, some staircase down here. Huh, interesting. This broken piece of Oh yeah. Some broken pieces here. Interesting. Can we walk up here from here? Yes, we can. Huh. Sun? The sun's almost hitting that. <laughs> I do believe these only, the clouds the sun and stuff only move when we move. Like they're they're set in place, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're set in place. Okay. So all this stuff over here. It's another little section over here. Oh, that's just a rock. Thought maybe it was a recording. Speaking of recording. I maintain that the cosmic religious feeling is the strongest and noblest motive for scientific research. Only those who realize the immense efforts and, above all, the devotion 
without which pioneer work in theoretical science cannot be achieved, are able to grasp the strength of the emotion out of which alone such work, remote as it is from the immediate realities of life, can issue. What a deep conviction of the rationality of the universe, and what a yearning to understand, were it but a feeble reflection of the mind revealed in this world, Kepler and Newton must have had to enable them to spend years of solitary labor in disentangling the principles of celestial mechanics. Those whose acquaintance with scientific research is derived chiefly from its practical results easily develop a completely false notion of the mentality of the men who, surrounded by a skeptical world, have shown the way to kindred spirits scattered wide through the world and through the centuries. Only one who has devoted his life to similar ends can have a vivid realization of what has inspired these men and given them the strength to remain true to their purpose in spite of countless failures. It is cosmic religious feeling that gives a man such strength. A contemporary has said, not unjustly, that in this materialistic age of ours, the serious scientific workers are the only profoundly religious people. Albert Einstein, 1930. It's interesting listening to that one. Uh, one thing that I wonder too sometimes is where they place those recordings and what they're actually saying on them. Are they relevant to the location that, that we find them in? What the heck is this one? <laughs> that has the dots. Now, obviously, we could just, you know, do this, but this is this is not going to work. It also has some, like, Tetris pieces. Yeah. Um, like, do you have to make those shapes? So, like, something like this. But I, I don't know what, like, I, I wouldn't know what this one is. Maybe... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't learned that mechanic yet, so I don't think we can go through there. And I've forgotten what it is. It's not something we can grab. No, okay. So we'll take a look over here. See if there's anything beneath. Because why else would you be able to come over here, right? Keeps going around. I mean, there could be many reasons why you can come over here, right? But usually, yeah, I was wondering if there was something there. Is there a recording over here too? Nope. Just this guy. So... Alright. So I think my theory is confirmed. Go the direction of the arrow. Um, I, I'm going to try not to sprint too much. Notice that when I have tried to use the sprint button, um, my encoder doesn't always keep up with it. And sometimes it can artifact, which is really odd. Especially for how old this game is. You'd think I'd be able to um, record it just fine, but uh, apparently not. I'm noticing that in some of these, some of these recordings and stuff that I rewatch. So we've we've gone ten minutes and haven't really solved anything. So let's <laughs> let's take a look at this this awesome structure up here and figure out where we even start at. So. Okay. Oh. I don't know if you see that. All right. Yeah, this is this is the reflection one. So you see how it's slightly darker here, slightly darker there, and it goes around. I don't know where it starts, but 
something like that. Yeah, there you go. So this is all sunlight reflection. Oh yeah, that's, that's easier to see here. All right. Yeah. Where does that go? Over there. Okay, so it starts here and ends there. Oh, but look, it looks like you can send it over. Oh, okay. So let's move it there. Aha. Okay, so I think Nope, that was not it. And there's another mechanic that we've learned. Failure shuts it off. <laughs> so that means we have to probably resolve this one. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, that's gonna be fun. So, all right, there, like that, right? So this to that. Get over there faster. Oh, so it starts up here. And it goes up. There we go. Okay. Um, get up there. Aha. Okay. Three that I can solve? Maybe solve? I don't see any... Huh. To look at it from a different angle? down there. That one's a straight line down. That one is from that way, that way. Okay. Okay, yeah. Maybe we have to go back a little bit further. Nope, not there. Too far back? Too far back. So I think that's just one up. Okay, let's try that. That, yeah. That one was straight down. And then this one was, I think, just straight across. Yeah. Okay. Let's go check that out now. Oh, okay. So, same thing here. Although it's, how are we gonna check that one out? Because shouldn't, it's not tilted the right way towards the sun. So unless this one is, the heck am I on? Uh, do I have to look at that one? Oh boy. <sighs> I can't see it from here. OK. 
can't see it this way. Hmm. Where do we go to see that one? Nope. Hmm. And then this is in the way, so we can't see it from here. feeling like that's going to rotate or something or make that one rotate or something right huh and then that'll open up whatever's down there can we get up top here and see we can doesn't help me right now. Oh. Huh. Do I have to maybe move this one? Is this like in the way or something? It's not moving anything else, is it? No. Ha 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 Oh, okay. So it starts there, goes to there. Aha. Here, maybe? I feel like I should be able to see it by now, right? What angle am I missing here, right? Is it one of those things where I can only see like from way up here? Huh. I don't really know how <laughs> I'm terrible with like reflection based stuff. All right. Now obviously that didn't work, and there's no sun on the other side. Let's go back that way and see if we can see something. I feel like this is the angle we want or something. But I also feel like, I don't know. Oh, hey, there's another platform. Do we have to see it from up here? Maybe, I, I honestly don't know. Oh, yep. There, down. Okay. We did have to be all the way up top. Let's 
so that should mean that we get to go down below into scary cave. I mean, you know, not really scary cave because there's nothing to be afraid of down here. Um, 20 minutes. 20 minutes to get to here. Wow. Okay. So same kind of thing. We don't necessarily know Oh, okay, so that just gets us... Different light? Light in the background? Okay. Hard to tell if it comes down that way or not. It for sure goes like this. Hmm. I feel like this is the only other one that gave us any information here. Start there. So does it... No. Hmm. So it was there. Okay. Couldn't really tell. I think. I don't see any starting point on this one. Okay. go to one exit. So where do we start? Oh, okay, we're not, we don't start there, but it does go at least this way to the so it comes down this way, okay? So starting at that corner, possibly. Oh, okay, so it starts there, comes this way possibly up like that. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. 
So, I think So, yeah, so it goes here like that to the exit. So starting at this point, it goes like that to the exit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, nope. is that not right? For sure it takes that corner. There to the exit. Um, I'll take a look at this one again. Oh, okay, okay. No, not that one. There we go. Hui. Well, that was fun. We're just going to go and check this out. But, oh yeah, I'm probably going to call it here. Interesting. It's been about that half hour mark. And unfortunately, this area is giving me a bit of a, you know, wobbly feeling. So I'm going to have to take a few minutes here to rest up and then I'll record another session. But thanks again for watching. Um, into a neat area, that's for sure, with all the um, reflecting. And now we have reflections in pool of water and stuff like that. So light puzzles. Uh, so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.